Have you ever wondered why people react differently to the same situations? Could it be that our responses are shaped by our past experiences? Welcome to a journey of understanding where we unravel the intricacies of human behavior. Today's focus is on trauma responses, those unexpected reactions that are often overlooked or misunderstood. You see, trauma leaves an indelible mark on us, subtly influencing our reactions to everyday situations. It can manifest in ways that may seem unrelated at first glance, but upon closer inspection, reveal themselves as intricate patterns woven by past experiences. Over the next few minutes, we're going to uncover 10 such trauma responses, each unique, each a testament to the complex interplay between our past and our present. So, are you ready to deepen your understanding of human behavior and the profound impact of trauma on our responses? Join us as we delve to the world of trauma responses, helping to shed light on this complex and important topic. Starting at number 10, we have emotional reasoning. Now, this is a fascinating trauma response. Emotional reasoning is when individuals perceive their reality based primarily on their emotions. For instance, if they're feeling anxious, they might believe that something bad is about to happen, even if there's no objective evidence to support this. It's like their feelings become their compass, guiding their interpretations of the world around them. But the trouble is, this compass doesn't always point to the true north of reality. It can lead them astray into a world shaped more by their emotional state than by the actual circumstances at hand. This can result in a disconnect where their internal world and the external world seem to be at odds. It can make life seem like a labyrinth where every turn is dictated not by clear signposts, but by the unpredictable ebb and flow of emotions. And this is why emotional reasoning can make navigating the complexities of life even more challenging. It's like trying to find your way in a thick fog where every direction seems uncertain and every step feels precarious. But understanding emotional reasoning as a trauma response is the first step towards finding your way out of this fog. Moving on to number nine, we introduce black and white thinking. This is a form of cognitive distortion where an individual's perception of experiences, people, and their environment is split into extremes. You're either a saint or a sinner, a winner or a loser, and there's no room for ambiguity or gray areas. This kind of thinking can be a direct result of trauma. When a person experiences a traumatic event, it can be easier to categorize things into simple, distinct categories. This is a mental safety net, a way to make sense of a world that has proven to be unpredictable and potentially dangerous. But while it might provide a sense of security, Black and white thinking can also become a stumbling block. It can lead to rigid thought patterns, strained relationships, and a lack of understanding when it comes to the complex nuances of life. Remember, life is filled with shades of gray, and acknowledging this can be a significant step towards healing from trauma. It's a coping mechanism that can make life seem simpler, but it can also lead to misunderstandings and conflict. At number eight, we have cognitive distortions. These are irrational thought patterns that tend to fortify negative thoughts or emotions. Cognitive distortions can sneak into our minds like unwelcome guests, often without us even noticing. They're like little glitches in our thinking that can make our perception of reality skewed. Imagine you're looking through a pair of glasses with a smudged lens. No matter how clear or beautiful the scene in front of you, your view will be tainted by the smudge. That's what cognitive distortions do to our thoughts. They smudge our mental lens. Common examples include jumping to conclusions, overgeneralizing, and catastrophizing. In each case, our mind convinces us of something that isn't really true. These inaccurate thoughts then reinforce the negative emotions we're feeling, trapping us in a vicious cycle of negativity. Understanding these distortions is a crucial step in breaking free from their hold. It's about cleaning that smudged lens to see the world and ourselves more clearly. They can cloud our judgment and prevent us from seeing things as they truly are. Trust issues take the seventh spot on our list. When someone experiences trauma, it can significantly impact their ability to trust. The world may seem like a dangerous place and trusting others, that can feel like an insurmountable task. Moreover, trauma can also make it difficult for individuals to trust themselves 
their own judgment may feel compromised, leading to a constant state of self-doubt and uncertainty. It's as if they're walking on a shaky rope bridge, unsure if the next step will hold or lead to a fall. This lack of trust can create a barrier, preventing them from forming meaningful connections with others. It can also stifle their self-confidence, hampering personal growth and development. Yet, it's important to remember that trust can be rebuilt. It may not be easy, and it may take time, but it is possible. With the right support and tools, individuals can regain their trust in others and themselves. Building trust can be a challenging process, but it's an important step towards healing. Halfway through our list, at number six, we have substance use disorders. When trauma pervades the mind, it can lead individuals down a path of self-medication. This is an attempt to numb the pain to escape the relentless echo of traumatic experiences. Substance use disorders often emerge from this desperate quest for relief. However, it's essential to understand that this isn't a sign of weakness or a lack of willpower. It's a human response, a testament to the severity of the emotional turmoil that trauma can inflict. These substances may seem like a refuge, but they are more akin to a mirage, offering a temporary illusion of escape while deepening the wounds of trauma. And here's the catch. These disorders can further exacerbate the impact of trauma, creating a vicious cycle that's hard to break. They can cloud our perception, making it difficult to confront and process our experiences. Substance use disorders can further complicate the journey towards healing and recovery. Coming in at number five, we have disassociation. Now, disassociation is a complex response that can often be misunderstood. It's a defense mechanism, a way for the mind to protect itself from emotional pain that might be too intense or overwhelming. Think of it as a mental escape hatch. In response to trauma, the brain may decide that the best way to cope is to detach, to disconnect from the self. It's like watching your life unfold from the sidelines or feeling separate from your thoughts, emotions, and even your physical presence. This disconnection is not a sign of weakness, but rather an adaptive response to trauma. It's the brain's way of saying, this is too much, let's step away for a moment. However, while it might provide temporary relief, long-term disassociation can lead to difficulties in processing emotions and establishing connections with others. It's important to remember that disassociation is a sign that someone is struggling and may need support. With understanding and patience, we can create environments that help those experiencing disassociation feel safe and understood. Understanding disassociation can help in recognizing when someone is struggling and needs support. Number four on our list is hypervigilance. Picture this, you're in a state of constant alertness, almost as if you're on a never-ending battlefield, always on the lookout for danger. This heightened state of awareness isn't about having superhuman senses, but rather, it's a response to trauma. Being hypervigilant means your brain is perpetually scanning your surroundings for threats, real or imagined, and it's always ready to jump into fight-or-flight mode. It's like having your internal alarm system permanently set to on. It's crucial to understand that hypervigilance isn't a choice. It's an instinctual survival mechanism developed in response to past traumatic experiences. But being in this constant state of high alert can be incredibly exhausting. It can lead to anxiety, insomnia, and even physical health issues. It's a survival mechanism that can be exhausting and anxiety-inducing. Taking the third spot, we have emotional overwhelm. Trauma often triggers a torrent of emotions that can be incredibly hard to navigate. These emotions can be intense and unexpected, like a sudden downpour on a sunny day. It's not just about feeling sad or anxious, it's about experiencing a whole range of emotions all at once, which can be incredibly overwhelming. Think of it like being in a small boat in the middle of a stormy sea. The waves of emotions are powerful and relentless, threatening to capsize the boat. It's not just the fear of the storm itself, but the helplessness of not knowing how to steer through it. This emotional overwhelm is a trauma response. It's your mind's way of trying to process the traumatic event, and like a storm, it can feel chaotic and uncontrolled. But remember, storms eventually pass. While it can be challenging, learning to manage these emotions is an integral part of the healing process. Almost at the top, at number two, we find physical symptoms. 
You might be surprised to learn that trauma doesn't just affect our minds but also our bodies. Yes, the distress we experience can manifest physically, leading to symptoms that may seem unconnected to the psychological trauma. We're talking about symptoms like persistent headaches, unexplained body aches, and even digestive issues. These are not just random occurrences. They're your body's way of signaling that something's not right. It's as if your body is saying, hey, we've got some unresolved issues here. Imagine your body working like an alarm system, alerting you to the fact that there's a trauma that needs to be dealt with. It's not always easy to make this connection, as we often tend to separate physical health from mental health. But understanding this connection, recognizing that your physical symptoms could be linked to an emotional trauma can be a significant first step. It can be the key to addressing the root cause of these symptoms, rather than just treating them on the surface. So next time your body sends out an SOS, pay attention. It might be time to dig a little deeper. Understanding this connection can be a key to addressing the root cause of these symptoms. And finally, at the top of our list, we have difficulty with relationships. Trauma in its many forms can complicate how we connect with others. It can create a world where trust seems elusive, where vulnerability feels like a risk too great to take. This can lead to a pattern of unstable relationships, a constant push and pull between wanting closeness and fearing the pain that might come with it. In some cases, individuals with unresolved trauma might find themselves drawn to relationships that mirror their traumatic experiences, stuck in a cycle that can feel impossible to break. Additionally, they might struggle with setting boundaries, often leading to relationships that are either overly enmeshed or detached. Remember, these responses are not signs of weakness or failure. They are survival strategies, ways of coping with experiences that were too overwhelming to process. While trauma responses can be complex and challenging, understanding them is a crucial step towards healing and growth.